This is a walkthrough of the John Deere E120 lawn tractor. We're going to take a look at some of the features of the tractor and just kind of go over some of the basic controls. So let's walk over here first and take a look at what's under the engine. The hood. This tractor comes with a V-twin engine, uh, 20 horsepower. Um, over there is the battery. And a new feature with this lawn tractor is what's called the 30 second easy oil change. What that is, is this canister here is where you're gonna unscrew and then replace with a new canister filled with oil. That's how you do the oil change on this model. Um, it's not like the traditional where you would use the conventional oil and drain it with a drain pan and uh, replace it that way. The other features here, uh, there's headlights. And let's get into some of the controls that we have on this tractor. So up top here, you can see this is a section that shows how many hours your tractor has. It's similar to your mileage in a car. Um, these are also service reminders. And if I open this up one more time just to show you, there is a list right in here that will give you your um, periodic service required as per John Deere. So this information is right there for you to see easily. Now this right here, I'm going to sit on here and show you some controls. This right here is used to speed up or, or lower the speed of the tractor. So when you're down here near the section of a turtle, that implies you know you want to go really slow. The rabbit here, you would move this up to, to gain more speed. It's very important that when you're actually ready to mow, you have this in the position of the rabbit. You don't want to keep it down here unless maybe you are driving the tractor from the garage or a shed out to your lawn. This button here is used if you are mowing and would like to go in reverse with the mowing blades engaged. In order to engage the mowing blades in the first place, you would take this lever here and push it up all the way over and that would make your, uh, your blades spin and cut the grass. So over here then is the parking brake. When you push down on this with your foot and lower this, you now release the parking brake. You'd be ready to turn on the engine and mow. And then when you push this down and lift this up, you've now put the uh, parking brake on. Below here is the cutting deck. This model includes a 42 inch cutting deck this opening here is where you could put your hose and turn on water, which would clean underneath here all those loose grass clippings. Another way you could do this is if you bought a kit that basically lifts the, the front of the tractor, similar to what you see in a car when you're changing your oil. When you lift that, you could get underneath there and, and clean out the, the loose grass clippings that way. Over here is where you would can control the mower cut height. So you have one inches all the way up to four and everywhere in between. So you just simply take this and move it to where you'd like, like it to be. Over here you can see when you are at a full gas tank, middle gas tank, and when you're running on empty. In order to change, or I should say in order to put more gas in, you simply lift the seat. And right here, that's where you put your gas in. You just unscrew the gas cap and fill it. You can use anything uh, Octane 87. That, that would be fine to use in this. And then you just put the seat back down. Uh, this is an, a 15 inch seat. The E110 and the E100 come with an 11 inch seat. So that's one of the differences if you go with the E120 model. Uh, the other features to take a look at here is the control of transmission. So this right here can be pulled out and what that does is it releases your transmission and you can actually almost just push this with your hand and that way you're able to move the tractor without the engine on and it also makes it just easier to, to move if you're in a shed or need it in tight close quarters. When you are ready to actually turn the mower back on and mow you must first push that in. This here if, is a attachment 
um, that comes with the cart. So I'm gonna take a step back and show you the cart. This is the 7P cart, uh, and this can be, um, they come in different sizes, but this is the 7P. Uh, it's, it's really lightweight, and if it is a cart that you wanna add to your tractor, it's really, really simple to attach. We'll get a close up here in a second of how, what I'm pulling on. But what happens is, this is how, this is how the cart comes. So the, here's the cart, and this comes with the cart, and so does this. So what we did when, when you saw me just unhinge that was this, was this was inserted like this through. And in order to keep it secure, this then was inserted like this. So it's really simple when you, when you go through those steps like this, you have your card attached. Okay, so you're gonna wanna insert that and go in there. And then you would insert it that way. I don't wanna take too long doing that. If you wanna walk around here then, we'll look at the last couple features of this tractor. This section here you can use to hold a drink or flashlight, anything you really want to. Here's another compartment that can be used to hold some things, maybe your keys. Um, and then over here is where the grass will um, shoot out. It's the chute for the grass. Um, if you wanted to get a bagging system, this tractor allows for that as well. Uh, this pedal right here, when you push down on this pedal, it's a forward motion. You'll, you'll forward, this will be in reverse if you push down on this. And then lastly, this is a feature I don't really use much, but it's cruise control. So this, this uh, tractor has a cruise control option too. And then here's the ignition. This is where you put the keys, turn it on and off. So thanks for watching. And again, this was the John Deere E120 lawn tractor.